Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Design Lounge. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this poster and I'm gonna adapt it into something of my own. And uh, you guessed it, I'm gonna make another shoegaze poster. So before I get started, please remember to hit like and subscribe and also click the bell for notifications to be notified of all future content. Now, so one of the things that I love about this poster and posters like this is that it's amazing to me how something so simple can be so effective at communicating what you are wanting to communicate. So for this right here, this is just made up of simple rectangle shapes. And I just I just love it. I was scrolling through Pinterest and I found this and I really was uh, like immediately drawn to the colors because I'm a 90s kid, so I love those bright neon colors, especially the yellow and the greens and I really like oranges and pinks as well, and even sometimes uh, some of the neon blues. But sometimes, like the yellow and the green working together, it just it just works really well. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be using this album, the self-titled album by the band All Natural Lemon and Lime Flavors. And um, so this is a little bit, maybe a little bit of a lesser-known shoegaze band from the uh, from the '90s, and they also put out an album, I believe, in the early 2000s. But it's, uh, it's really good stuff, and it's got that true 90s shoegaze feel uh, if you're looking for something like that. So I highly recommend the album. It's, it's just fantastic. So let's go ahead and grab, before I, before, I actually, before I do any of that, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down just a few colors. I'm gonna go ahead and extract them from this poster here. And the, uh, we're only gonna be using four colors. We're gonna use this, this like neon yellow, this neon green, white, and black and I think what I'll do is I'll keep the black not 100% black we'll just kind of go in maybe 10% something like that that way in case I decide to bring this into Photoshop and add any kind of effects then those uh, those effects will show up I'll do the same thing for the white so not 100% maybe like 90 something like that that way those effects will show through especially if we do any type of grain uh, to it and you know me I probably will all right so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to set the background color. I actually want to try something a little di a little different because these uh, these albums that they uh, all put together and all and also this one right here, you can see for the most part it's fairly dark. So the fact that we're doing that we're going from uh, the dark aesthetic to this neon th this neon color, you know that that's that's quite a jump. So what I'd like to do is, you know, you see this poster right here, it's got the white background, um, but I actually would like to try it with a black background and try that instead. So I'm gonna lock that background. And then first thing I'm gonna do is just uh, just drag on the actual shapes themselves. So like I said earlier, it's just rectangles. And I'll do it a little bit different uh, from this one. It's not gonna be an exact copy. Um, so I'll, I'll, do, I'll do something a little bit different, maybe two inches in right here. I think I'll probably go the other side instead. So instead of the left side, I'll just put it on the right side. And then I really like that strip that's going down right here. That's really cool, so probably do that. And I need to be a little bit more precise in the uh, size of, uh, of that. So I like how this does bleed off the edge. That's pretty cool. Um, I think that I might keep that but I think I'll probably change it to this color instead and with this one let's make it a little bit more precise for the number as well and since that's coming in two inches from the side that's looking good and I will draw these two uh, rectangle shapes right here and we're, we're gonna make two of them and then just combine them together I'm gonna put this one behind the green one and I like that it's not touching this one right here, so I think I'll probably push it out maybe by half an inch or so, and then just kind of bring this over here. And let's make this a little bit more of a precise uh, precise size as well. I don't really care about the width. I'm just gonna make it like, you know, maybe five inches or maybe seven inches. Like, like I said earlier, I'm not doing exact uh, copy of this poster so I'm, I'm trying to do something you know it's a little bit different but you know kind of a kind of the same feel look and feel let will just kind of bring this up here and I might even go all the way to the edge there that's actually pretty cool I like that 
So now I'll just grab these two, use the Pathfinder tool, and unite them together. Okay. So uh, as far as the type goes, um, because we did the because we did the black background, we're actually going to be doing um, white text. So uh, and actually, I see that, uh, here that they've actually got like a like a knockout effect uh, going on here. That's pretty cool. But I think I'll just do a solid white. So uh, we'll go with first thing we need to do. <laughs> really, the first thing I should have done is select my um, select my font, but it's fine. I'll go ahead and just type out the, the text. All right, so we'll go in here and let's take a look at some of the uh, fonts here. Um, I'm probably going to use something like, um, what's the one that I was using just recently? Yeah, the Plus uh, Jarka uh, Jakarta Sans. That's a, that's a really cool one. I like it a lot. Um, the Extra Bold uh, for this one is really nice so I think that I'll go with that and what I'll do is I think we're probably gonna separate this out a little bit so let me draw like a black box right here or actually a white box so let's do that let's get our boxes uh, placed first and I'm so used to having caps lock on but I think I'm going to actually match the match the case here all natural lemon and lime flavors and if we want to uh, later which I probably will I'll just go ahead and um, separate those here in just a minute I'm gonna set this to optical kerning all right so let's go over here and I'd like to place this a little bit more precisely so maybe two inches in and four inches down ten inches wide three inches tall. I think that looks good. All right, so what I'm gonna do, like I said earlier, is I'm gonna separate these into three separate lines. So what you do is just create outlines and then ungroup everything. And then I'm just gonna go in and group these together again. Okay, so for this one right here, the first box, I'm gonna put this in here, go to outlines, so I can bring this forward. And let's bring this all the way over here to the left and then push it out maybe an inch or so and then I'm gonna put my anchor point here and probably bring this up to like a nice rounded one inch right there and then we will adjust the size of the box we'll add an inch there and we'll take this down it looks like that's perfect already so um, we've got two inches there looking good or two inches um, two inches added <laughs> um, we're just gonna we're gonna do an inch on the top and an inch on the bottom okay so let's bring this up to one inch as well since we already know that's what our the size of there's gonna be then one inch again and I think that for something like this I like the fact that it's that there's a little bit of space in between uh, these so I'll push that uh, I'll match that same thing so we'll just kind of add like maybe a qu quarter of an inch or so that looks good and we may need to adjust these boxes depending on uh, depending on the uh, the type. So, because the lemon and lime that obviously is a little bit wider, so we'll bring this up to the front, and I'm going to align this with the all natural right there. So vertically, that's looking good. And then we'll go over here, and then we'll add an inch that way. And flavors will obviously be probably the shortest one. Yeah, definitely the shortest one out of the three lines. So we will do this here, align this. And we know that our height is good. So I'm just going to bring in the width here and then add an inch there. Okay, so there we go. Here's our type it is set right here. And this is already looking really cool. I like, I, I really do like the. Um, the color palette and the arrangement of all of the uh, all the shapes and everything. All right, so now we just need to put in some basic album information. So what I like uh, about this is we'll just kind of match the same thing here, and we'll do the same thing with the track list. Thankfully, there's only eight songs on this. But what I'll do over here, I'll probably do the track list here. Let's see, the longest one is Wondered Why. So I think I'll design that one first. And I think what I'll do is just type everything out and contradict exactly what I just said. <laughs> so Saturn 
jig, I believe that's what that is. Let me go in here. I actually have the album pulled up here. So we'll just go in and we'll paste it. And I'll speed up this portion of the video so that we can, um, so you won't have to sit, sit here watching me do, do this part. All right, so that part is done. And we have uh, eight songs, or no way, actually we don't. We've got more than that. We've got, I wonder why, I wonder why the actual album itself, the CD is only showing eight songs on the back, but this right here, uh, it, it might be a different version. It's possible. But what I am gonna do is I'm just gonna go by this one right here, the actual CD release. So let's go over here. And it's mainly because, you know, I, I want to do eight instead of 12 <laughs> uh, as far as the, the boxes go and everything like that. I don't want it to get too crowded. <clears throat> All right, so we'll take out... Uh, oh, looks like... Okay, so we've got All the Time, How Come, How Come Comes After All the Time, and then Jane Baby, and then Blue Balloons. Wow, so there's like four extra tracks there that are just don't even show up. All right, so Jane, uh, how come Jane, baby, blue balloons? Wonder why. There we go. So yeah, I'm just gonna go by the actual physical CD release. So I don't know what's going on with YouTube um, music, but there, that, that's what they're showing. Uh, but I'm just gonna go by the CD. All right. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did earlier, and just cre uh, create outlines, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make all of these the same. Uh, I'll, uh, I'm gonna resize the whole thing all at the same time. So we'll probably bring this up to four and a half inch. That looks good. looks like a good font size there. And now I'm gonna lock everything that's in the background here so that I can just grab these. And I'm gonna go ahead and group all of these together just like we did earlier with the band name. Okay. And then <clears throat> just kind of repeat the same process. Like I said earlier, I'm going to do this one first, just so we can get our sizing uh, correct. And actually, I'm going to invert the colors here. So this will be white text on the black background. And then I think I'm actually going to push it out maybe a half inch instead of um, a full inch. All right, so what we'll do here is we'll just kind of get right to about right there and then add a half inch there. So there is our last song right there and I'm just gonna kind of align this. Let's go ahead and place this. Maybe an inch in, inch in. That looks good, I think. <clears throat> All right, looking good. All right, so I'm gonna repeat the process for each song title, but I'm just gonna speed up the portion of the video so you don't have to watch all of it. All right, so there we go. We've got we've got everything laid out right here. <clears throat> Sorry about that. We've got every uh, all of the uh, song titles laid out right here. And now, um, as far as this goes, um, I do I do like the simplicity of what we've put together right here. But I think that there needs to be a little bit more balance uh, here. So we'll probably just do something like maybe the year down here at the bottom. And I believe this came out in 1996. Let me verify that. This says 2001, but I don't, I don't believe that. Here we go. Okay, year 1996. So uh, there it is, right there. You can't always trust uh, streaming services because uh, what they'll do is they'll like if an album comes out in 1996, but then it was re-released in 2001. If that's the version that they have on there, then they'll say that it was released in 2001 instead of 1996. So you just got to be careful with that. And I think what we'll do is probably just make it make that color i like that one actually i'll we'll do this right here and then we'll align this to the left side here and i do like the little 
this little icon up here. Um, I don't know if it's a little bit too on the nose, but I think that I might do something uh, similar to that. So let's go, um, I'm gonna go grab from, maybe from VecDZ, and we'll just see if we can find like a lemon or something. <laughs> what about lemon lime? Let's see if we can find uh, something like that. And go grab like a free, free license one right there. Now let's see, just something real simple that I can just kind of drop in real fast. I was hoping to find one with um, with both of them together. But maybe I'll probably just go with, eh, I'll just gr grab this one here. So my attribution for this is for Bunga Design. So there's your attribution, since it says attribution required, even though I'm not gonna be selling this, but still figured I'd go ahead and do it anyway. All right, so let's open it up. <clears throat> go grab that. And the one that I want to grab, actually, let's get rid of that. The one that I wanna grab is probably gonna be this one down here at the bottom right. And then just make like a little simple shape that's kind of similar to this. So I'm going to drag this over here and just kind of use this for reference. All right. I like the seeds. So I think that I'll probably just kind of go in. Let's see. We've got this white in here. But I think I'm going to, I'm, I think I'm going to let's ungroup everything. And let's going to do like a cutout type of thing so that way we can get rid of that white. And then... I'm going to go in here and grab the seeds as well, and we'll just knock out the seeds. <clears throat> just in case I lose my selection, I'm going to go ahead and unite those seeds together. And then we'll just knock it out of here. Very cool. Grab all of this. It's all the same color, and we're in good shape. I am going to recolor this. Oops, there we go. Whether anybody says that that is yellow or green doesn't really matter. It could be it could be either one, right? Okay, an inch in, inch in, and maybe something like two inches. So we'll just kind of go like that, maybe. Uh, and then maybe at the top, let's see, the record label is who? Let's see, is that, is that Coom? Coom? I, I cannot read that. This is the only picture I can find of this. Is it Kumba music? But this this looks like Kuma, but that looks like a B. Is that Kum Kumbia? Let me see here. There. Okay. There we go. Okay, Kumbia music. We'll just say Kumbia music presents. go. I wish I could find an actual release date of this, but you know, with it being a little bit more of an obscure uh, band, it's, you know, it can, it can be harder to find release dates. Okay. And then let's see here. I'm actually trying to, so let's unlock this right here. And we'll just lock the black uh, part of the background. I like, I like how they've got it slightly, uh, like overlaid right there. But I'm thinking it's probably. What if we did black? Okay, that's pretty cool. I actually do like that. So if we went black instead, let's grab this and then maybe push it over a touch. 
Okay, so it might be t uh, might be a little bit on the nose here, but it still is looking cool. So here we go. Here's my adaptation from this uh, poster right here, the Katawis. I'm so sorry if I pronounce it incorrectly. Katawis, Katawis Street Art Festival. <laughs> um, into the all natural lemon and lime flavors poster and you know looking at this i just i don't think that it needs any kind of effects so i'm just going to leave it just the way it is um those nice bright colors i don't want to mute those in any way and sometimes when you bring them into photoshop and start applying effects to them you can really mute those colors so i so i want to leave it just like this so i hope you enjoyed this and i hope you learned something if you were following along or just kind of learning for some illustrator tips so i hope you learned something i hope you hope i taught you uh, hope, hope i taught you something with this video so thank you so much for watching and if you like the video please remember to hit like and subscribe and also click the bell for notifications to be notified of all new content. And also check out my other content. I've got a lot of good uh, videos for posters, album covers, logo designs, things like that. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.